We're going to talk about hidden calories inside of your macros. You want to stick around for this. I had a very wonderful client. She was like, I've been following my macros, um, been following my macros, got off meds. She has her, she has had no flare ups with her autoimmune issues. Lots of great shit, but she wants the scale to go down more. She was telling me her percentages and her macros and the fact that she's only off by maybe five at the most or whatever. Normally women in their shit, this is like me to a T2 with my business. I used to be this way with my body, but now we have... We've gotten out of that. That's why I teach you how to how I get out of that shit, you know. But dude, it's like when you feel like you're not hitting your goals, you think it's in the diet, the ratio. There's something you're not doing that you're not missing. Da, 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 and you're like sitting there. Maybe it's maybe it's too much. Maybe it's not enough. Like, how do I adjust this? Do I add more cardio? Usually, they just add more cardio because they feel like it's not working. And what happens is they always feel like that, even when they tweak stuff just for the moment, small moment in time. They feel like it's doing something because it's new, right? But really, they never fix the the main thing that kept them blinded by this one thing that I'm about to teach you and. Show you the light. A very logical way at looking at macros. And I know I teach emotion, but because of this emotional intelligence, this is you becoming emotional intelligent when it comes to your diet and your fitness and everything else. Now check that. You know how, you know how to you hear these motherfucking people say it's a science. You know, nutrition is a science. And you're like, fuck you, science. It's not that easy. It's not, oh, if I reduce here, that equals weight loss. Like we've tried that. We've done that for years and it's not working. And then we had these big macho motherfuckers and the guys look like fucking juice head. And they're like, you fat bitch, you blame it on thyroid. And, and you're just fucking fat. And you need, you need to follow your macros. And you're like, I am following my macros, you motherfucker. You know what I mean? They have no idea. You can't even, you can't even, they don't understand what we're going through. They don't understand the level of self shit show sabotage. They're also in their own thing, but we're also in our own thing, right? So the things that I want to say is most of us, we go when we're in that feeling and we fuck with shit. That's what I'm trying to say. We go and we start fucking with shit, thinking that it's something else. And we're looking at these bodybuilders and we're like, what do you mean follow it perfectly? I am. But you're perfect and they're perfect are not the same. Now, do you want to know what I mean by that? Here's what I mean. Let's just say you're supposed to be eating 2,000 calories. Let's say you're off by five grams for fat, carbs, and protein. Let's say you're off by like three here. Oh, I didn't hit fat. Out. And listen, this season of my life, bitch, I ain't trying to be 100 either. That's why I don't look 100. I am that five gram off, bitch. Now, in my bodybuilding days, when I say that I hit a fucking macro, bitch, I hit a fucking macro. But let's say you're off three grams of fat, five carbs, and four protein. Fuck, I go to bed some night and I'm off by like 14 grams, 25 grams. So when y'all see my ass looking on looking the photos like, whoo, Casey, I fell off a little bit. It's because I'm just fucking doing other shit. <laughs> I'm not tracking my macros, but I also don't have a fucking weight problem. I'm not thinking about it. It's not consuming me. If I wasn't comfortable with it, I tighten my ass up and I know how to do it. I'm going to teach you how. Now, for every gram of a, like a macro, for every one gram of carb, there are four calories. For every one gram of protein, there are also four calories. For one gram of fat, there are nine calories. Now, get your calculators out. We're about to do some math. Now, if there are four calories per gram, five times four is 20. But for fat, remember there's nine. There are nine. So that would be nine times five is 45. So 85. Total calories for the day. She's missing 85, almost 100 calories she missed out on. You times that by, let's say six days, because who, let's say she's part, you know what? I'm going to give her more credit. I'm going to give y'all more credit. Let's say, I'm not going to judge you based on what I'm doing right now. I've been as serious as you're about to be. So, I mean, I've, I've hit my motherfucking macros on point like that. How, how, I, my thing was, how long do I need to hit them? Now, was I fucked up back then? Man, I would fuck up and binge eat and all that shit. You know, I'll walk you through all that, hot moms. On the weeks, like, the re you know, when I won and I got better and better, that's that's me hitting my shit more and more and more. I'm hitting my shit. Regardless of how I'm feeling, I'm hitting my shit. Regardless of what I'm doing, I'm hitting my shit. And that you can take that across the board and do it in fitness, athletics, b business, everything. Your relationship. I mean, everything. So 85 times 7, that's a whopping 595 calories per week that she's missing out on. She's missing out on. She's missing out on. No go. A fucking F. 
missing out on almost 600 calories. No wonder she's hungry. It adds up. And it compounds. Fuck that, man. Over four weeks, because some of y'all be sabotaging the fuck out of yourself. You're missing out on 2,380 calories for the month if you stayed in that caloric deficit thinking that you're right but you keep getting off track because you're sabotaging yourself because you don't know how to dissect discern separate your fucking emotions from science and that's what we teach in hot moms it's not about not feeling it's not about positive thoughts only it's about understanding having wisdom to understand the humanness what's coming through you what needs to come through you and what's stuck inside of you so that you can think clearly and see it as math if you can't do that, you'll never have the body you want. You'll never have the business you want. You'll never have the money you want. <sighs> Relationships, everything. And so that's why what we do in Hot Moms is so important. We give you all the top science. Because some people, they can't get this right. But there are a lot of great coaches out there that can get you so far. Then what? If you find yourself constantly struggling, doing all the right stuff, there's something that you're missing. And it's as simple as this, but it's not what you think. So that's why... Over time, we think we're doing the right thing and we're eating the calories and we're just off for one or five. Well, God, Casey, I don't know if I can hit that every day. Say that again? Right. You don't think you can. You've never done it before. How should you know if you can or can't do it? That's right. You need somebody around you. You need a coach to help you discern, is that a sabotage mo move? Or are you being highly emotional? You need to sit down, continue to do this. You're doing the right stuff. Let's find out why you don't think you can.